Hey, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for CreativeCow.net. I don't know about you, but I take my computer on the road a lot. I train in After Effects at various companies and animation houses, and I take sort of vacations where I work from the beach more or less. And while the sand might not be good for the laptop, oh, the beach is good for the soul. So, while I can sit there banging out animation to the crashing of the waves while drinking something pink and frothy with an umbrella in it, or a beer, yeah, um, I meant a beer, Unfortunately, what I can't do is RAM preview, at least not easily. A lot of laptops don't come with a number pad, meaning no number pad zero button, meaning no RAM preview button. And before all of you MacBook Pro people out there start yelling, hit function M, hit function M, the latest MacBook Pros don't have the function number pad anymore. I know because I have one, and man, when I got it, was I ticked off. So whether you're on a MacBook Pro or any other laptop without a number pad, RAM previewing becomes a task. Either you have to choose Composition, Preview, RAM Preview, or if you happen to have the time controls visible, you can use the RAM Preview button. But there is a better way. But it requires going into the keyboard shortcut preferences, and that's done outside of After Effects using ancient technology known as a text editor. You'll need to find and alter the file called Adobe After Effects 8 Shortcuts. If you're on a Macintosh, you can find the keyboard shortcut preferences under your hard drive name, users, your name, library, preferences, Adobe, After Effects, 8.0. If you're on a Windows machine, you can find it under your hard drive, documents and settings, your name, application data, Adobe, After Effects, 8.0. Anyway, go in there and open up the file and do a search in the file for the word preview. You'll find that the word preview comes up a few times, but the first thing to come up should be the simple word preview, and then the shortcut pad zero and pad insert. I usually change pad zero to the word comma inside of the parentheses. Of course, that keyboard shortcut is used to zoom out of the composition window, so you may not want to do that. I have a wireless mouse with a scrolling wheel, so I don't need the shortcut because the wheel handles that. And if you're on a MacBook Pro and some Windows laptops and don't have a mouse, whew, and good luck working in After Effects without one, you can use the special touchpad features to zoom in and out. Besides, if you really need that zoom shortcut for some reason, you can always use a different number, letter, or other keyboard combination that you don't care about losing. But okay, in the interest of simplicity, let's say that you've made my change. You've gone from pad zero to comma. You're not out of the woods yet. You see, if we do a search through the text document for open parentheses, comma, close parentheses, you'll find that it's already taken, several times in fact. And as After Effects loads the preferences, it loads these over your changes because they come later in the document. At least I suspect that that's what's happening because the new shortcuts won't function. So in addition to altering the preview shortcut, you also need to remove the zoom shortcuts, at least the ones that use just the comma. So select the parentheses, comma parentheses, and hit delete. And then continue searching and deleting until you can find no more of the duplicate shortcuts. Next, simply save your file, and it will save over your original keyboard shortcuts. But don't worry, if something has gone horribly wrong, or you decide that you just don't want to keep these and want to go back to the original shortcuts, you can delete the shortcuts file, and the next time you start up After Effects, it will recreate the shortcuts file using the default settings. No harm, no foul. Or if you've decided that at some point you want to have your laptop computer hooked up to a full-size keyboard, you can rename the new shortcuts file to something like Adobe After Effects 8 Shortcuts on the Road, for example, and when you want to use the new settings, just delete the default one and change the name back to Adobe After Effects 8 Shortcuts. Oh, it doesn't hurt to keep a backup of this file somewhere in case you erase it by accident. By the way, since my audio preview button, the decimal point on the number pad, is missing too, I usually change that to a period. Not the word period, but a simple dot inside of parentheses to replace it. Of course, you have to go through the same process that we covered to get rid of conflicting shortcuts. Now, I know that there are some scripts out there that can do some of this or all of this automatically, but due to the issues of conflicting shortcuts like we covered here, they don't always work quite the way you expect them to. So while my method requires a little more digging under the hood, it will keep you out of unexpected trouble when you're on the road, like AAA for After Effects. 
Anyway, speaking of taking things on the road, you can take me on the road by buying any of my Creative Cal Master Series DVDs, <laughs> I like that little segue there, uh, such as my latest one, After Effects The Next Level Volume 2, CS3 Tips and Techniques, which you can find at training.creativecow.net along with several other great DVDs, including the newest ones by Pete O'Connell for rotoscoping and After Effects and Aaron Stern for motion design with After Effects. Once again, this is Aaron Rabinowitz for creativecow.net. And, and you know what? I, I honestly do enjoy a good umbrella drink every now and again. So sue me. <laughs>